first we're going to start by assembling a cylinder start to finish. The first step of that will be your cylinder pad. Make sure it's clean inside. And that you will take your O-ring. There's a groove inside your cylinder pad. You'll put your O-ring down inside that groove. Next, we have a white industrial grease. You'll just take some of that and smear it around your O-ring. Next, you'll take your piston rod and we'll assemble the piston head onto the rod. The first step of that will be your wear ring. It has a split in it. You'll take that and it will pop over the top into this groove. Next, you'll need your piston head seal. It's flared in an upward direction. You'll take that and it has an O-ring in the top that will face up. Next you'll need your piston head bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. Lock washer on the bolt first, then the flat washer. Thread that into the top of the piston head. Next you'll have a set screw. This requires a liquid Loctite to keep it in place. You'll apply that, just a bead of it, about halfway around the threads. One end is uh, machined for an Allen wrench. That end will face out. Next, you'll need your 5 16 Allen wrench to thread the set screw all the way down into the piston head until it bottoms out. You'll feel when it hits bottom. Then you'll apply more Loctite to the second side of the set screw. Then you'll need your piston rod, which is threaded on one end. Thread your piston head onto the rod. And then you'll need a 15 16 socket to tighten it down. You only need to tighten it enough to flatten the lock washer, and that's enough. If you don't have access to a pneumatic impact, you can use a regular ratchet and socket or an open end wrench. Next, you'll take your cylinder barrel and your wiper guide. You'll need two pieces of soft material. In this case, we're using wood so that you don't damage the aluminum barrel or the aluminum wiper guide. Insert the wiper guide into the barrel with the knurls facing up. You'll need a hammer and you'll pound this wiper guide into the barrel until it's flush with the top.
can see that it's pounded down flush with the top surface of the barrel. Then you have a wiper seal that goes into the wiper guide. There's also a snap ring groove machined into the wiper guide. You'll need a pair of snap ring pliers. You'll squeeze your snap ring, pop it into the groove. And you'll need to be sure that it's fully seated in the groove. Next, you'll need to use the same white industrial grease to lubricate the inside of the barrel. You'll just spread a thin layer around the end of the barrel that has the threads. Next, you'll take your barrel and your piston rod assembly, slide it carefully down into the barrel, and through the wiper guide on the other end. Hold the piston rod so it doesn't fall out. Turn it over. You'll need something soft to tap it on to pound the rod in. Just give it one good tap and the seal will go into the barrel. Next we have a silver grade anti-seize that you will apply to the threads of the cylinder pad. Then you will take the cylinder pad and thread it onto your barrel. At this point, we're going to move over to a table with a rail clamp to it. Next, you'll pin your cylinder into your rail that is clamped to the table. You'll have a barrel wrench that's built specifically for tightening this barrel. Wrap it around the barrel, lock it in place and give it one firm pull to tighten your barrel down to the pad. Now you'll install your oversleeve to the cylinder. It's drilled on one end. That end goes up. Slide it over the cylinder. Next, you'll take your socket pad, put that on the rod, socket pad pin and keeper. Now you'll need to lift the oversleeve up and line all three holes up and slide the pin through. And you'll put your keeper on the pin. Now you have a complete cylinder.